Have you ever wanted to beat Skyrim, but at the same time, not beat Skyrim? Just sit there and watch as chaos unfolds and the game kind of beats itself? Well, I have, and today we will attempt to answer the question. Can you beat Skyrim with only followers? The rules goes as following. Only our followers will be able to deal damage to enemies. And the only times we are allowed to do damage is if we have to brawl a certain follower to obtain it or for example use a shout to progress the game. And we use a few mods to make the challenge more challenging and more fun. First is a mod called Multiple Followers Framework that allows us to use more than one follower. Next up is Follower Death and Injury Chance which makes followers be able to get injured or in worst case scenario, die. And I feel like reloading a save to evade a follower dying counted as cheating. Next up, we have respawn. That makes so when you die, instead of reloading a save, we just lose some gold and get teleported to the nearest Hall of the Dead while still being in the same save. Last one is Ordinator, which just overhauls the perk system and makes the game more enjoyable. And our goal is to obtain as many followers as possible, upgrading them with new armor and weapons, and then make them face Alduin for the ultimate challenge. This run took a ridiculous 12.3 hours to do and it was all streamed here on my channel. So hitting the like button and subscribing helps out a lot. Now with all that said, grab a snack, sit back and enjoy the video. Like every other Skyrim challenge, we started creating a character, which this time wasn't the best looking guy, and then named him Taylor Swift, because who has a lot of followers? Taylor Swift. And later on, we will too. So we are basically the same, unlike I don't pollute the air 1800 times the average person, and people don't spend their life savings on a ticket to my concert. But after watching a dragon burn down a city, we escape and change our mod settings to make it a 25% chance for our followers to get injured when knocked down and 20% to die and make it to a town called Riverwood, where we acquire our first follower called Sven. And then we did some fishing, caught a beautiful red fish. And apparently this shit is like a big part in the anniversary upgrade for Skyrim and I think after around 2 minutes of this, I got so bored that I threw the fishing rod on the ground out of pure disappointment and I will probably never touch this again ever. After getting to Whiterun, failing to help bully a big guy, we tried to have a conversation with Sven, but he acts rather peculiar. No, then I, then I, you should better listen, right? So Sven, we could go and then buy some healing spells, one for ourselves and one for healing our followers because that's the only two things we can do besides being our followers passenger princes in beating Skyrim. And because the spells were very expensive, we go around dragon streets like a rat and steal every scrap of gold laying around. We then go into an inn and find a woman that wants to fight for gold. And because we weren't allowed to attack, we had no idea what to do and just kept flailing around, dodging the woman to try and somehow make Sven fight her. Thankfully we changed this rule later. We then found a mercenary called Janessa or Janesse or something like that. And I kept forgetting how to pronounce her name for the entire 12 hours we did this for. But after troubleshooting the more followers mod because Janessa wasn't working, we found a huge obvious book with the mod's name on, specifically made to enable the mod. So feeling really dumb, we enabled the mod, got me and Sven a third wheeler and headed off to Bleak Falls Barrow. On the way we found a cold blooded murderer and made it to Bleak Falls Barrow. And I just wandered around having a great time doing nothing and like once in a while yelling fetch to my followers because they're kind of like dogs. Except they can't really see the difference between a stick and a person, so they just run after and maul everything I set them to. And something horrible happened a little further in this dungeon, but first we gear up our guys, slice a skeever in half, murder a spider, kill some old men, and then this happened. 
Just take a look. Oh, oh, oh you killed it actually. Wait, I'm getting a helper. He's, a, he's my helper now apparently. <laughs> oh, oh, he calmed down. Don't die, please. What are you doing, Sven? Get the fuck out of that trap! What do you do? Oh! What are you doing on the swift? Get out of here. Piece of shit. Rest in peace, Sven. And I will remember all the, like, three memories we had together. See you in Summon God, brother. So while crying, we fought our way through the dungeon, solved the preschool puzzle, and slaughtered the boss, taking the dragon stone with us afterwards. Oh yeah, and if you were wondering about the difficulty, we started off at Adept, later changing it to Expert, Master, and lastly Legendary for approximately the last half of the challenge. And no, I'm not finding where I changed it, okay? I have over 12 hours of content to look through, alright? We gave the stone tablet to Ferengar because he wanted to feel like Moses with the Ten Commandments, and now with one tablet he's halfway there. But the dragon weren't too happy about that, so they destroyed a random watchtower outside Whiterun, which was kinda random, but we had to defeat the dragon there pretty urgently. So of course, we didn't do that, and instead went on a week-long cross-country carriage ride to Solitude to hire the most beautiful man in the lands of Skyrim, Belerand. With Belerand and Jay Nesse, we got to the watchtower, saw the dragon, Belerin somehow pulled magic out of his easy to draw ass and slaughtered the dragon. Get a free member called Lydia to our army and then we get a call for Belerin's grandparents who live on the mountain. Guarded by a frost troll that almost killed us. Oh my- Oh! Oh my god! And then they teach us our hidden talent of yelling at our newborn son when he doesn't fetch us another beer. And after that, we get attacked by cultists, which apparently happens in every video I make, and I'm getting tired of someone leaking our address to them, so they somehow find us all the time just for them to be killed once again. And then we found that armored lady Uthgird again, and this time we beat the ever-loving shit out of her. Oh, music too! Let's go! What the fuck? I don't do anything. Shut up. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm red. Right. Oh, what is that stupid ass hit? Get him! Get him! Get him! She misses everything. She's horrible. She's so horrible. She's kind of, kind of, kind of good. The fuck? Beat the shit out of her. Shut up. Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, sure. Well hit. Okay, that was a little scary. I oh, hit the wall. Fuck you, man. You're bleeding. You should go down. Boom. Oh. And we beat her so hard that she was permanently stuck crawling on the ground. But that didn't stop us from going in a carriage and traveling to Markarth, hiring a new man called Vostag and another one called Kosnach that reminded me a lot of my dad which then grew our army to a total of 6 followers. And after our little trip to Markarth, we traveled to Morthal to get the horn of Belrin's grandparents that they lost on their weekly grave robbing expedition, and found a man named Benno on the way, and we decided to beat the mother loving crap out of him, which made him love us, and wanted to join our army which then grew to a total of 7. Then we got inside Ustengrav, Kosnach has a little drink, and we beat every single thing, living or dead, while upgrading our army and exploding a drog's head. And a skeleton. <laughs> and then we got a cool invisible something shout thing, then got to the end and found Delphine's YouTube apology for stealing Bellerin's grandparents' horn in letter form, met up with her, and spoke with her on a whole different subject and somehow she led the conversations to me having to kill another dragon.
We started by going to Morthal again to complete a quest that some guy in chat said would give me a new follower. It was something about a house burning down and a ghost wanting to play hide and seek. And then some relative were a vampire and she was guilty of burning down the house. But then we have to kill more vampires to satisfy the Jarl of Morthal who wouldn't stop looking at my crotch. <laughs> Hello? I stop here lady, Jesus Christ. Oh, and by the way, if you made it this far and enjoyed the video, um, make sure to leave a like and uh, subscribe to my channel. You know that uh, big button right down there. Um, it helps me out a lot and uh, I greatly appreciate it. So uh, if you click that uh, subscribe button down there, it makes a uh, man like me very, very happy. Yeah, onto the video. So she gave us her best warriors, a bunch of regular people who looked nothing like warriors and went to a cave with some pretty tough vampires. Mobath Pekin. Why do we even ha only have two people? He's going to die. Wha wha please! This if this girl dies, I'm gonna I'm gonna cry. No 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 no. Calm down. Everybody's fucking attacking her. Jesus Christ. That's it, I can't attack anymore. Heal I mean. Kill them. Who's low? Someone low? What? What the fuck? Get up! Holy shit! Holy shit! If she had taken one more hit, she wouldn't be dead there. No, 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 please do not die here. Why is he running away now? You fucking coward. Come back here, you piece of shit. Oh man. Kill him. Oh, thank god. Holy shit. Then it turns out the not so warrior looking warriors were too scared to even come inside the cave, so we did it completely on ourselves. It turns out we were scammed and the quest gave no follower, so we went to Riften, hired Mercurio, found Rogvir's executioner who wanted to play main character and make me do exactly what I have my followers do for me, assassinate people. And for some reason, only 4 out of our 8 followers came with us, but the fights were pretty easy, just a bunch of bandits, and then we got the executioner on our team, which grew our army to a total of 9. Then I wondered why almost every follower didn't have any helmet on, so I hired another man named Stenvar, and then bought some helmets to treat my followers a little after all their hard work. Then that dragon fight Delphine told us about came to my mind, so we easily slaughtered that using our excessively large army. Then we go on our longest and most scary quest yet, the infiltration of the Thalmor embassy. And this might seem at first like an easy quest, since I've done it many times already and it's usually quite simple. But in this case, it was the complete opposite. It starts as normal, delivering our items to Melbourne, traveling to the embassy, and now the first problem appears when entering the embassy. My followers are nowhere to be seen, but we continue on by sneaking out the back and retrieving our stuff, then scooting by a bunch of guards, getting outside, but still, no followers were here. We were on our own, and we had no chance to survive against these guards. So with every tool in our possession, we made the second greatest play of our lives. It does! What the fuck? That's, that's insane! No way! Oh my god! That's insane. Alright, 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 alright. Healing. We just a little bit of health. We need to resist fire here. Here we go. It's here. It's here. Stamina. Expert. We can do that. Definitely. Oh my god. Please don't say I have to kill the guards in there. Did I get a level up? I did. Holy shit. That's huge. More healing. I have to read it. Escape, can I just go out? I, 
have a key. Fuck, I need a key. Fuck, no, 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 no. Until reality struck and just one single trapdoor leading to our freedom needed a key, which was of course only obtained by killing one of the guards inside the torture room. Oh my god, please don't say I have to kill the guards in there. So we sat there, contemplating every single possibility and outcome like some Doctor Strange shit, and then we spotted the Scroll of Harmony, which theoretically would make every enemy passive without damaging them, so it was not against the rules, and then we could pickpocket one of the guards for their key. This plan seemed perfect, and the only possibility of us getting out of here. I'm just gonna try. I won't hold back. Human, Come on, please. Holy shit. Can I only pick up the goal? Are you kidding me? What is this guy not... It didn't even reach those guys. What? <laughs> what do you mean? I'm pretty close to dying. So I guess... The people... It didn't even hit all of them. It just hit some of them. And I can only pickpocket gold from them. Come on. Maybe Melbourne can do it. What the fuck? Gizzer. Did they kill Melbourne? They killed Melbourne. <laughs> he doesn't do anything. <laughs> Shit. And then all hope was lost. So we ran around the courtyard hoping for some idea while the reality of the quest being impossible came closer and closer. Even the mod meant to teleport me to the Hall of Dead were disabled in this area, making it impossible to escape. But then we spotted them. What? That doesn't make any sense. Wait, who's here? My followers? They are right there! I can't get out of the courtyard though! My followers! Which gave me a little hope, and then something huge happens. The guards inside the courtyard aggro onto our followers, making them shoot arrows at each other. Okay, so right now they are all at the gate. <laughs> Slowly but surely. This guard right here might have a key on him. Dude, how are you doing on killing him? He takes a l Oh! 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 Oh my god! Holy shit! Holy shit! Followers, you might have just saved my life. Holy shit. Once again, they might have saved my life. Guess who? I don't care. <laughs> oh my god! Are you kidding me? It's the wrong god? <laughs> I don't know why. And then, all hope was lost again. But while trying to lead the guards carrying a key out to be killed, it finally happens. People, I would need help. Can I speak with it? I can. Long life to you, Thane. Uh, oh, to do something. Sure. What can I do for you? Yes, my Thane. Oh! Be Whoa, what? Belrin! Belrin! <laughs> yes! No way! Belrin, come! Come on, Belrin! Yes! It's Belrin again! It's always Belrin! Come on! No way! Belrin, 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 do something! Belrin, what are you doing? Belrand! Hello? Belrand? Belrand, what do you do? Bel 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 no, please, you're you here, you're here, honey. Please, come on. Come on, for the love of God. Belrand? Belrand, what are you doing? Actually, I think the first part of it doesn't do damage. We can just do like this. Can you... Belrand, can you please do something? Oh, thank God. Thank you, thank you, person in chat. Holy shit. Belrand? Come on, Belrand. The fuck, Belrand? What the fuck, Belrand? Where are you at now? Oh, he's in here, is he? Actually? Is he invisible? What the fuck? Be <laughs> what is happening? I thought you were gone, Belrand. You can't just go and. Oh! Oh! 
Oh! Oh my god! Oh, we can get out, Belrin! Come on! Belrin, run! Belrin, come, please! Holy shit! Belrin, stop being invisible. Come on, we need to go. Belrin? Why are you fighting everybody, Belrin? Oh, there's not even Belrin. Where is Belrin dead? Why is there flame? But if, if he if he dies here, you know, the problem is if, if Belrin gets uh, gets too damaged, if I leave him behind and he dies. Where, Bel where are you, Belrin? Belrin, am, am I healing? <laughs> I don't know what's happening. But I feel like, you know, no, 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 I don't think he will follow me through because. Oh shit! Belrin! Belrin is dying. Belrin, okay, he's gravely injured. He's, he will survive though. Thank fucking god. Oh shit. I don't know. He isn't invincible. He almost died there. Okay, he won't follow me through because when I when I tr when I try to go out of go go out of here again, he just kept fall fighting. You know, Belrin. I thought the love of God just come with me this time. He didn't follow me out of the the house again or the interrogation chamber before. So after we and Belrin make the greatest play of our lives, we realized Belrin wasn't here. And no, he wasn't just invisible again. I checked, so the only possibility was that he was still stuck in there fighting the guards, and also a dragon decided to show up. Alright, let's go back in I guess, back in. Oh, we have the followers in here, oh I guess they have to kill out for it. Oh, Belrin is still dying in there. He has a 20% chance of dying. Um, so if they keep knocking him down in there, he might die. How do we get back up there? Is it really not possible? You gotta be shitting me, right? Oh, there they are. If they fight me, Belrin might be able to make it out. There's one more, are you blind? That's a- oh my god, not me, right? Not me, okay? God's sake. Can we wait now for Belrind? Is that Belrind? Holy shit. Holy shit, guys. Holy shit, it's Belrind! Let's go, Belrand! Oh, I've never been happy, baby, happier to see Belrand. Actually, I was happy before, but I'm even more happy now. Belrand, I love your little ben little bandage right there. So after an entire hour of the most nail-biting, stress-inducing, adrenaline-filling, Belrand bandaging, and horrifying experience in all of Skyrim, we finally made it to Delphine to tell her all about the experience. But she didn't listen and only cared about the old man Esperin and sent us out to another quest like we didn't just almost pull our hair out in pure anxiety. So we just straight up said no and started a whole other fucking quest line instead of finding Esperin. But then we paid a little visit to Arcadia's cauldron. The guys in there, you you don't see anything, all right? Several elixirs for sale. I see that. Look, slowly carrying them into a room beside you. I sell cures for all ills, and I'll be happy to serve you. Yeah, yeah. I'm just serving myself, and I'm just looking. Actually, I mean. What's the hurry? You're someone who can get things done. I like that. You thieving little elf. What did I do? You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. Fuck. What say you in your defense? It was one potion! I'm a Yars Thane. I demand you to let me go at once. Oh, forgive me, Thane. I didn't realize it was you. We'll look the other yeah, way. Big off, time. man. Even the Yarl's influence. <laughs> man, I love being the Thane. And then we joined the companions by showing our strength to a clone of another companion by punching a shield a little bit and hurting our knuckles. All right. Do I have to hit him? I don't have a choice, do I? I actually kind of really, really need to. Ah, fuck my ah, oh, my hand hurt. Not that. Next time won't be so easy. 
What is happening? <laughs> Was that not bad? I hit you three times with my fist on your shield. What are you talking about? Then we fetched some things once again, and the original of the clone we beat up tried to show us our dorm room, but his pathfinding struggled a little bit. Then Arcadia was mad and sent thugs after us. And then we got a simple quest to kill some former. That turned out to be not that simple. And we died so many times, we started buying new spells and armor to use a spell to increase our armor rating so we didn't get one shot. And bought a ward that we made a sick play with. Oh, I blocked it. That's pretty cool. And after 45 minutes of chores and former, the simple little sign up quest was done, and we were officially part of the companions, I think. We started off by following a companion into an ancient tomb, where it turns out the companions has secret furry powers. And apparently the tomb was filled with anti-furries who spent all their lives hunting them, just like me. Nah, I'm just joking, don't worry. But then apparently one of them dropped like 1800 gold for some reason. And after the tomb, we went back to Whiterun to beat up a random innkeeper. Guess I'm brawling this guy then. Oh yes, oh my god, this may not be possible. Beat him over the countertop. Are you guys seeing this? He ain't really doing much. Coward, I'm gonna beat your things then. Beat all your things off the shelves. Do you want to fight me? I'm gonna fight his uh, furniture. Come here. Food. Get the plate out of that. Boom! And then for some reason, we became a furry too. And a part of the companion's closest and most secret group, after delivering two weapons, killing a former, standing by while the anti furries got killed, and beat up an innkeeper. Which made the group feel not so important and secret, since I spent 5 minutes on most of it, and the best part was the amount of people just standing inside that top secret meeting place. Then after becoming a furry, we had to kill more people, and for some reason a companion ran inside this fort thing alone, and the other ones weren't really worried about him, even though he was nowhere to be seen, dozens of werewolf heads were placed on spikes all around the fort, and there were very much alive people everywhere in there, which gave me a slight worry about him. And to everybody's surprise, he was laying dead, so we got his armor, went out to clear another castle, then another one, then we found a crazy woman. Hello? Vacation is where the head is. That is. Don't go to the Blue Palace. The master is on vacation. Don't listen to Dervenin. Don't do it. What are you talking about? Has gone, but Dervenin will find him. Dervenin should not have gone. Who's Dervenin? What are you talking about? Go to the Blue Palace. And murdered your mo- A hag raven? Who apparently were the one that made the companions werewolves. And the leader of the companions wanted to rid them of the curse. So after finding out he was murdered by the anti-furries when I got home, we attended his funeral, got some cool big eggs, and went out to rid them of the curse. First, we murdered a bunch of ghosts, where the different companions pussied out and couldn't go further because of some dumb spider phobia. And then we found the ritual spot, used your mom's head to rid the leader of his werewolf curse, and then had to fight it, where for some reason almost all my followers didn't want to fight, except of course Janese, or whatever her name is. And when it was dead, we had completed the quest line. No, I'm just kidding, we still have to beat Skyrim. So we firstly hired all the companions, first Ayla, and then I could not find a single other one for a long time. But then, I realized I could hire all of the little worthless rookie companions too, which was huge. First someone called Nyada, then Rhea, then Tower, then Aethys, and then lastly the original companion guy called Farkas and his clone Vilkas, making my army a total of 17 followers, and then geared them up with my scraps and had so many new people to upgrade now. And then after over 3 hours, we finally gave in and said alright to Delphine, and went out to find the old man Esbern, who lives in Riften together with the Ninja Turtles. And inside the Riften sewers we died, almost twice, 
obliterated everybody on our path and then we found a cage with a little funny skeever friend inside. But man, what did we not do for that little ugly ass rat? Please do not die here. Come with me. No. What are you doing here, giant the fist? Are they gonna die now? Please don't die of the trap. Oh no! No! What the fuck? Oh no! No! I sacrifice a rat for for the stupid. Oh, please be worth it then, you fucking moron. And then, as revenge for the executioner and Bellerin's torturing, we murdered several Thalmor people, finding Esperin afterwards and escorting him out. Nothing new. But after bringing Esperin back to Delphi, they refused to talk in her basement for a good while. But we managed to plan a little cute picnic for the three of, I mean 19 of us, in the most anti-picnic place, Kynes Grove. And here you can see why it wasn't the best pick for a picnic. You know, because of the huge dragon terrorizing everything, and the crazy caveman-ish people wearing skeleton bones as clothing. And this guy that has a little plan for a heart I think, which is kind of weird. And our picnic went a little weird when suddenly I had to cut myself open to open a huge stone head. And then got rewarded with a bunch of cool katanas and that was also this big wall thing. So we headed up the mountain to the greybeard and then jump scared me by talking extremely loud weird words in my ears. And we then told them about the wall and while putting me in the floor they said something about a dragon paralyzing shout which I wanted of course. So we did the most logical thing to acquire such an anti-dragon kind of shout by talking to a dragon who said we needed an elder scroll thing. And what do you do to get an Elder Scroll? Rob a lonely man in the middle of the sea, of course, and then raid a Dremor Ruin, which quickly turned absolutely fucking miserable. Imagine how hilarious it would be if it's all, it's all my followers just die by this. Just run, I guess. Fucking already hear it happen. Just run, just run, just run. I hope they, they somehow teleport through or something. Maybe I can get. Oh fuck, someone died. Two died? What the fuck is happening? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12? 12? Let me have a look. No! What? I just want to get her things. I feel like they're gonna run with me if I do, though. Please, don't die. No, no, get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. Are you fucking dumb? Are you dumb? Are you stupid? What the fuck are you doing, guys? Are you, are you idiots? Are you, are you... Oh my god. Who died now? What are you doing that? 8, 9, 10, 11. We lost one. And after losing so many people, we were down to 11 followers. But we did manage to get the Elder Scroll, so that was at least good. Then we carried all of our 11 followers on our back all the way up the mountain, pulled out the huge scroll from my pocket, read it, burning some blue relics and some very orange footage of some old dudes finding a couple dragons into our eyes, and stole their cool blue shout. So when Elduin popped up, we shot him right out of the sky and let our followers wreak havoc on him. And after he got obliterated, he flew away to Sovngarde. And what better way to find a dragon than to trap another dragon inside a wooden building. So that's exactly what we did. But first, we had to sit through a long, boring political debate. And then finally we were able to call a dragon to Whiterun. Make the dragon land. The dragon can't get past all of our followers. We try again. This time without followers and he successfully get trapped under the log. So we asked him about Alduin and wow no way, he went to Sovngarde. 
he made a deal if we released him he would fly us to Southern God. So after freeing him from the trap, getting all of our followers after us again, we climbed upon his scaly back and flew to Southern God. And standing there, looking at the final obstacle standing between us and Alduin, the ruins of Skuldafen. We take a good look around and yep, the followers didn't come with us. So reality struck, we had no way to progress the quest. Even after trying to go inside the ruin and as far as we could, there were still enemies we had to kill in order to progress, which meant this was the end. And unfortunately, we were not able to beat Skyrim using only followers, despite our best efforts. And there you have it ladies and gentlemen, after doing nothing, watching my people do everything and running around, we did not complete the challenge. So if you managed to enjoy it, leave a like, subscribe and become a member to help out my channel. Also remember to join my discord channel via the link in the description. But that answers the question, can you beat Skyrim with only followers?